Greetings, everyone. Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to another Bible reading. And we are continuing through the book of Leviticus. And the other day we covered chapters 1 through 3, and today we will be covering chapters 4 through 6. Amen. So, if you have your Bible handy, please follow along with me as we continue to read through the book of Leviticus. And we start here in chapter 4, and verse 1 says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which ought not to be done, and shall do against any of them, if the priest that is anointed do, uh, do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin, which he hath sinned, a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord, and shall lay his hand upon the bullock's head, and kill the bullock before the Lord. And the priest that is anointed shall take of the bullock's blood, and bring it to the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall dip his finger in the blood, and sprinkle of, and sprinkle of the blood seven times before the Lord, before the veil of the sanctuary. And the priest shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar of sweet incense um, before the Lord, which is in the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall pour all the blood of the bullock at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall take off from it all the fat of the bullock for the sin offering, the fat that covereth the inwards, and all the fat that is upon the inwards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is upon them, which is by the flanks, and the call above the liver, with the kidneys it shall he take away, as it was taken off from the bullock of the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn them upon the altar of the burnt offering, and the skin of the bullock, and all his flesh, with his head, and with his legs, and with and his innards, uh, and his dung, even the whole bullock, shall he carry forth without the camp, until or unto a clean place, where the ashes are poured out, and burn him on the wood with fire, where the ashes are poured out, shall he be burnt. And if the whole congregation of Israel sin through ignorance, and the thing be hid from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning these which should not be done, and are guilty, when the sin which they have sinned against it is known, then the congregation shall offer a young bullock for the sin, and bring him before the tabernacle of the congregation." And the elders of the congregation shall lay their hands upon the head of the bullock before the Lord, and the bullock shall be killed before the Lord. And the priest that is anointed shall bring of the bullock's blood to the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall dip his finger in some of the blood, and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord, even before the veil. And he shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar, which is before the Lord, that is, in the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall pour out all the blood at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And he shall take all his fat from him, and burn it upon the altar. And he shall do with the bullock as he did with the bullock for a sin offering. So shall he do with this, and the priest shall make an atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. And he shall carry forth the bullock without the camp, and burn him as he burned the first bullock. It is a sin offering for the congregation. 
when a ruler hath sinned and doth somewhat through ignorance against any of the com commandments of the Lord, his God concerning things which should not be done, and is guilty, or if his sin wherein he hath sinned come to his knowledge, he shall bring his offering a kid of the goats, a male without blemish, and he shall lay his hand upon the head of the goat, and kill it in the place where they killed the burnt offering before the Lord. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and shall pour out his blood at the bottom of the altar of burnt offering, and he shall burn all his fat upon the altar, as the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall make an atonement for him as concerning his sin, and it shall be forgiven him. And if any one of the common people sin through ignorance, while he doeth something uh, somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord, concerning things which ought not to be done, and be guilty, or if his sin which he has sinned come to his knowledge, then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish, for his sin uh, which he hath sinned. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering, and slay the sin offering in the place of the burnt offering. And the priest shall take of the blood thereof with his finger, and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and shall pour out all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar. And he shall take away all the fat thereof, as the fat is taken away from off the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the priest shall make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. And if he bring a lamb for a sin offering, he shall bring it a female without blemish, and he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering, and slay it for a sin offering in the place where they kill the burnt offering. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and shall pour out all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar, and he shall take away all the fat thereof, as the fat of the lamb is taken away from the sacrifice of the peace offerings. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar, according to the offerings made by fire unto the Lord. And the priest shall make an atonement uh, for his sin that he hath committed, and it shall be forgiven him. Chapter 5 And if a soul sin, and hear the voice of swearing, and is a witness, whether he hath seen or known of it, if he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. Or if a soul, soul touch any unclean thing, whether it be a, a carcass of an unclean beast, or a carcass of unclean cattle, or the carcass of unclean creeping things, and if it be hidden from him, he also shall be unclean and guilty. Or if he touch the uncleanness of man, Whatsoever uncleanness it be, that a man shall be defiled withal, and it be hid from him, when he knoweth of it, then he shall be guilty. Hmm. Or, if a soul swear, pronouncing with his lips to do evil, or to do good, whatsoever it be, that a man shall pronounce with an oath, and it be hid from him, when he knoweth of it, then he shall be guilty, in one of these, and it shall be, when he shall be guilty in one of these things, that he shall confess that he has sinned in that thing, and he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord for his sin which he has sinned, a female from the flock, a lamb, or a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for him concerning his sin. And if he be not able to bring a lamb, then he shall bring for his trespass, which he hath committed, two turtle doves, 
for two young pigeons unto the Lord, one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. And he shall bring them unto the priest, who shall offer that which is for the sin offering first, and uh, wring off his head from his neck, but shall not divide it asunder. And he shall sprinkle of the blood of the sin offering upon the sin side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be wrung out at the bottom of the altar. It is a sin offering. And he shall offer the second for a burnt offering, according to the manner. And the priest shall make an atonement for him for his sin which he has sinned, and it shall be forgiven him. But if he be not able to bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons, then he that sinned shall bring for his offering the tenth part of an ephah of a fine flour for a sin offering. He shall put no oil upon it, neither shall he put any frankincense thereon, for it is a sin offering. Uh, then shall he bring it to the priest, and the priest shall take his handful of it, even a, even a memorial thereof, and burn it on the altar, according to the offerings made by fire unto the Lord. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall make a, an atonement for him as touching his sin that he has sinned in one of these, and it shall be forgiven him, and the remnant shall be the priests as a meat offering. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, If a soul commit a trespass and sin through ignorance in the holy things of the Lord, then he shall bring for his trespass unto the Lord a ram without blemish out of the flocks, with thy estimation by shekels of silver, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for a trespass offering. And he shall make uh, amends for the harm that he hath done in the holy thing, and shall add the fifth part thereto, and give it unto the priest. And the priest shall make an atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering, and it shall be forgiven him. And if they f a soul sin, and commit any of these things which are forbidden to be done by the commandments of the Lord, though he wist not it not, yet is he guilty, and shall bear his iniquity, and he shall bring a ram without blemish out of the flock, with the est thy estimation for a trespass offering unto the priest, and the priest shall make an atonement for him concerning his ignorance, wherein he erred, and wist it not, and it shall be forgiven him. It is a trespass offering. He hath certainly trespassed against the Lord. Chapter 6 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, If a soul sin, and commit a trespass against the Lord, and lie unto his neighbor in that which was delivered him to keep, or in fellowship, or in a thing taken away by violence, or hath deceived his neighbor, or have found that which was lost, and lieth concerning it, and sweareth falsely, in any of all these that a man doeth, sinning therein, then it shall be, because he hath sinned, and is guilty, that he shall restore that which he took violently away, or the thing which he hath deceitfully gotten, or that which he was dis, uh, delivered him to keep, or the lost thing which he found, or all that about which he hath sworn falsely, he shall even restore it in the principle, and shall add the fifth part more thereto, and give it unto him to whom it uh, appertaineth in the day of his trespass offering. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord, a ram without blemish out of the flock, with it thy estimation for a trespass offering unto the priest. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord, and it shall be forgiven him for anything of all that he hath done in trespassing therein. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering, because of the burnt burning upon the altar 
all night unto the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. <clears throat> and the priest shall put on his linen garment, and his linen breeches shall he put upon his flesh, and take up the ashes which the fire hath consumed with the burnt offering on the altar, and he shall put them beside the altar, and he shall put off his garments, and put on other garments, and carry forth the ashes without the camp unto a clean place. Um, and the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it, it shall not be put out, and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning, and lay the burnt offering in order upon it, and he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. And this is the law of the meat offering, the sons of Aaron shall offer it before the Lord, before the altar, and he shall take of it his handful of the flour of the meat uh, of the flour of the meat offering and of the oil thereof and all the frankincense which is upon the meat offering and shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor even the memorial of it unto the Lord and the remainder thereof shall Aaron and his sons eat with unleavened bread shall it be eaten in the holy place in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation they shall eat it. It shall not be bacon with leaven. I have given it unto them for their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy, as is the sin offering, and as the trespass offering. All the males among the children of Aaron shall eat of it. It shall be a statute for ever in your generations concerning the offerings of the Lord made by fire. Every one that toucheth them shall be holy. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This is the offering of Aaron and his of his sons, which they shall offer unto the Lord in the day when he is anointed, the tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a meat offering, perpetual, half of it in the morning, and half thereof at night. Uh, in a pan it shall be made with oil, and when it is bacon, thou shalt bring it in, and the bacon pieces of the meat offering shall thou offer for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the priest of his, and the priest of his sons that is anointed in his stead shall offer it. It is a statute for ever unto the Lord. It shall be wholly burnt. That's W-H-O-L-L-Y, wholly burnt, uh, entirely burnt. For every meat offering for the priest shall be wholly burnt. It shall not be eaten. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and to his sons, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, shall the sin offering be killed before the Lord. It is most holy. The priest that offereth it for, a, for sin shall eat it. In the holy place shall it be eaten. In the court of the tabernacle of the congregation. Whatsoever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be holy. And when there is sprinkled of the blood thereof upon any garment, thou shalt wash that whereon it was sprinkled in the holy place. But the earthen vessel wherein it is sodden shall be broken and it and if it be sodden in a brazen pot it shall be both uh, scoured and rinsed in water all the males among the priests shall eat thereof it is most holy and no sin offering whereof any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of the congregation to re reconcile with all in the holy place shall be eaten it shall be burnt in the fire. Amen. Alright, well, that is the end of the daily Bible reading for today. Amen. And so, tomorrow we'll be continuing through Leviticus chapters five, uh, 7 through 9 tomorrow. So, 
Hope you'll come back for that. And we'll be back in the morning, Lord willing, before I head to work, to bring you the daily Baptist Bread devotional. Amen. All right. Well, till next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. So may the Lord richly bless you, and you'll have a great and wonderful evening. And remember, only Jesus saves. So the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For he is the only one that can wash away your sin and give you eternal life if you would just call upon him and trust him as your Savior and believe on what he did on the cross, his death, burial, and resurrection. Amen. All right. Well, bye-bye for now. See you all next time.